Hello and welcome to today's coverage on Games with Trinity Radio of Games with Trinity as they prepare to take on South Shields in the pitching in Northern Premier League. It's a cold but clear night here at the North Home as Trinity make their way out onto the field. South Shields already out there in their white and claret kit. Trinity lineup for you today. Number one, Thomas Jackson. Number two, Matt Dixon. Number three, Ryan Campbell-Gordon. Number four, Kamal Grant. Number five, Matt Baker. Six, James Williamson. Seven, AJ Greaves. Eight, Alex Wiles. Nine, Simon Ainge. Ten, Declan Bacon. And 11, Lewis Dennison, who returns to the team. On the bench, there's 12, Keaton Ward. 14, Zach Walker. 15, Taylor Carcatch. 15, sorry, 15, Taylor Carcatch. 16, Bradley Ronis. And 17, Scott Hutchinson. For the visitors, South Shields in goal. Number one, Miles Boney. Number two, Jamie Sterry. Number three, Blair Adams. Four, John Shaw, their captain. Five, Dylan Morse. Six, Callum Ross. Seven, Jordan Hunter. Eight, Philip Turnbull. Nine, Darius Osai. Ten, Robert Briggs. And 11, Alexander Kempster. On the bench for them, number 12, Craig Baxter. 14, Aaron Thompson. 15, Josh Gillies. 16, Will McCamley. And 17, Jack Hindle. There'll be a minute silence here at the North End. Silence observed. Simon Ainge, I assume, will make his way to the centre circle. Oh no, that's already been decided on. Looks like Trinity will have a kick off. It'll be Alex Wiles to take it. Trinity kick in from right to left in this one as I stand in the ping stand. Greg Smith down in front of me with coffee in hand. It is a freezing night here at the North Home. Trinity come into this one off the back of that disappointing loss against Peterborough Sports in the FA Trophy. South Shields, on the other hand, have gone a number of games unbeaten. Three, I believe it is, potentially four. Standout performance would be that 2 0 win against Halifax Town in the FA Cup qualifying round. And they're yet to concede in three or four fixtures, so it's a tough test for Trinity as Alex Wiles gets sunned away. Kamal Grant looks to send it long, it's charged down by Alexander Kempster and it comes to Williamson. He plays it but only into the midfield. It's collected well again by South Shields and then Williamson can thump clear. Nearly found its way through towards Declan Bacon up top. And now South Shields can break over halfway line with Philip Turnbull. He plays it out wide to the left hand side. The left back looks to come inside. Trinity, early doors seem to be lining up in a five, five at the back formation. It looks like a 5 2 3, potentially 5 3 2. As it's played forward, while Grant touches well, Darius Osai wins the free kick and Trinity on the edge of that penalty area will look to clear this along. Tom Jacks steps forward to take this one. As he prepares himself to send it long. It does look like a, a, a back three or back five, however you want to interpret it. It's the centre, centre halves of Kamal Grant, Matt Baker and James Williamson with Matt Dixon and Ryan Campbell-Gordon as wing-backs. As Tom Jackson sends that forward looking for Simon Ainge, but it's flicked on by South Shields and it's taken down by Dennison. He flicks out towards Campbell-Grant, left-back. He looks to get it forward and Spiler crosses it in onto the centre spot. Penalty spot, sorry, headed out. And as AJ Greaves looks sent back forward, he's going all the way through to Mark's bony and go. And composed, he can put out to his right-back, James Sterry. South Shields happy to keep the ball as it's back with bony and goal. And he's got a bit of time now to evaluate his options. 
no one in Trinity Blue busting to make the press there and it's cleared by Boney. Long, but it's headed one easily by Matt Baker with a free header. Controlled by Simon Ainge, his touch is loose and it's found James Sterrett right back. He plays it up in towards Trinity territory. James Williamson's there over in the left back spot and he looks a hook it clear. Nearly takes out the cameraman in the gantry, but it will be a Trinity throw. Curtis Woodhouse pace in his technical area, giving orders for Simon Ainge. He starts again up top for the Holy Blues. It's been a fine goal scoring form. As Campbell Gordon sends it long over halfway, that's a long throw for Trinity. But it's in the midfield of South Shields. And he can play it to his right back, Jamie Sterry, into his centre half. The captain, well, not captain, sorry, Dylan Morse, and it's played out to Bowie in goal. He spreads it towards his left back. Good press from Dennison, force it back in. It's a mistake, and Ainge can latch onto it, and his shot is an open goal, and he's put it wide of the post, and that is a gift for Trinity. Simon Ainge will feel he's done better. It's a loose back pass from the captain, John Shaw, as he looked for Boney. Ainge was there. Maybe the angle was uh, on, on second view, and it might seem slightly different, but to me, from there, that looked like Ainge perhaps should have put that away. It was outside the area. There was a man pressing. Um, first big chance of the game comes to Trinity it's coming from high press there but it's now back in Trinity territory it's with uh, Campbell Gordon all in his hands as he takes as he looks to throw it up over halfway again looking for the head of Simon Angel it's another long one it's over him however and it's in the midfield as Alex Wiles looks to challenge Matt Baker steps into the field misses out good <laughs> and it's with the left back for South Shields he plays up the line looking for Alexander Kempster he's met with a thumping tackle from Kamal Grant Trinity faithful like that one it seems to be a, a, a good crowd here tonight obviously the last one for a, a little while as per government announcement um, Trinity will be a little disappointed by the financial aspect that this was perhaps on a Tuesday we all know the, the following you get from South Shields coming to town obviously not 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 as popular as a trip on a Tuesday night as it would be on a weekend but there's still a very very good crowd here and what is a cold night at the North Home it's a throw in for Charles Shields, level with the Trinity 18 yard box. It's with their left back, he looks at his options, looks to stand up his man and gets past him, whips it in, deep. Oh, J Jackson has to punch it. I thought that went deep, it ended up at J Jackson's front post and it's fizzed in then from just outside the area from uh, I think it was Callum Ross or Philip Turnbull. Fizzed in and, and Tom Jackson can hold that one second time of asking, but the initial cross looks like it was shaping up towards the back post, a deep one. But it dipped right at his front post and he, he did well to react. I don't know how much he knew about it. It was more of a punch onto the bar, but it kept it out and that's all he'll be caring about. As he, Jackson can then send it long. Through everybody. Bit of a mix-up in communication between Bacon and Agent. Runs through to Miles Boney and goal. It's played out to James Sterrett right back. So it's played into Osai. Williamson looks to win the ball off him. He forces him all the way back. It's a lovely one-two from South Shields. And now Osai can take it over halfway. Looks to dink it over the head of Baker. Calls for handball, but the referee says he used his head, not his hand. And then it's thumped forward by Campbell Gordon, looking for Ainge, who's battling well there with the South Shields defenders. And it's hooks back forward, headed out by Matt Baker, into the midfield, it's loose. Then some challenges with Callum Ross, judged to have fouled him, and it'll be a free kick for South Shields. It's been a lively start. It's Jamie Sterry now takes it over in the right back position and plays it into his striker. Kemp's a lovely flick there to find Robert Briggs. And he slots it back through towards Kempster, who is offside. And he's going to take it round Jackson and slot it in the net, but it's not going to count. Ironic jeers from Trinity, but it's a good line there from the Holy Blues. It's a lovely move from South Shields. Flick from Kempster started it off into the feet of Briggs, and he shaped up for a reverse ball, slotted it through, but Kempster just couldn't time his run. And it will be a free kick here for Trinity, right on the edge of their area, penalty area. Target, no doubt, will once again be Simon Ainge. Looks like a 5-3-2. So I've established the back five. It's Alex Wiles, AJ Greaves and Lewis Dennison in the midfield. And then it is Simon Ainge up front with Declan Bacon. The score is still nil nil if you've joined us between when we started and now. We are only six minutes into the clash. As Ainge flicks it on, looking for Declan Bacon, he looks to down. We'll head it out by South Shields, but on as far as AJ Greaves. He can't get it to edge, Ainge on the edge of the area. And Philip Tarnwell can play it out to the left back. South Shields. He looks to fizz it into the feet of Kempster. He tussles with Grant. Referee says both get up. And Baker can give it to Grant. And gives it to Dixon in his right wing back position. Alex Wiles looks to turn. Gives it back to Kamal Grant. Into Alex Wiles again. 
He's under pressure. Lovely turn away from uh, Philip Turnbull and back to Grant. He looks to clip it up towards Declan Bacon over his head and headed up by South Shields. Alex Wiles can collect in the midfield, sprays it out to Dixon and then back to Grant and halfway for Trinity. Looks ahead head of Simon Ainge, again it's, it's headed by a South Shields player first. Reeves can pick it up in midfield, sets to Alex Wiles. Both sides have deployed a, a very quick high press. It's causing a bit of problems because neither side looks too confident on the ball at the minute. So, uh, Declan, Simon Ainge rather has come from an offside position there to win that header. South Shields gets back underway quickly with the left back. Played up towards Alex, Alexander Kempster. Left wing, he looks to take it past Kamal Grant. He's matched him pace for pace. And it's another lovely slide tackle from Kamal Grant. Responded again with uh, a cheer from the Trinity faithful. And that could be a good battle down there. Not many will be Kamal Grant for pace. He's a tall lad. He moves across, he covers the ground well. Kempster tried it and he was met with a strong tackle from Grant. Now it's into the feet of Kempster. Looks to take it past Grant again. Trinity faithful winding up for a... Uh, a big tackle from Grant, and it's out for a throw-in. Ten paces outside the Trinity penalty area. Kempster gives it away to Alex Wiles, whose touch just lets him down, and it's fizzed into fit Darius Asai. He's met by James Williamson, his touch isn't the best, but he keeps hold of it, does Asai. Turns, gets the ball, and looks to fizz it across. Claims for a corner. Referee says no, it's a goal kick, and Jackson's going to look to get us underway again. It has been all action so far, barely had a chance to stop and work out what's going on. It's been an entertaining start to this fixture. As Tom Jackson just takes his time this time round. Both sides will probably be happy just to settle a little bit. Even with the, the few fouls we've had, both teams have been eager to get it, get the ball moving again. And it'll be Tom Jackson to clear this. Simon Ainge, the target. Just about doesn't have to flick it on, but it can't find Declan Bacon, a strike partner. And that's with uh, John Shaw, the centre half the captain for South Shields and he plays it to his left back Blair Adams he looks for Darius so finds him but Wilde is in strongly to thump it clear up over halfway line and all the way out for a goal kick for South Shields <coughs> they're very quickly to set into a position where they want to play out from the back and they do it's played to Dylan Morse into the feet of Callum Ross out to Jamie staring the right back who's clipped by AJ Greaves and it'll be a free kick and South Shields are quick to go again to the captain John Troy. Back to Miles Boney and goal. They're very comfortable to, to keep it. And they spread out to Jamie Stair at right back. He's got time now. He's being met by Declan Bacon. He's working hard to track that. He gets past him, brings it over halfway. Interfere is Alexander Kemp Kempster, met by Matt Baker. It's found by it's with Darius Assign midfield however, who sets it back for Philip Turnbull. He drives forward, plays it out to the left wing. The left back's got forward, he whips it in. Deflected, didn't see the deflection there, but it was blocked by uh, Matt Dixon uh, right back. And it'll be a corner for South Shields. Scores still remain 0 0. That way, yeah. <laughs> still 0 0 here. Played about 10 minutes in this pitching in Northern Premier League match. Probably, well, definitely the last one until at least the 2nd of December. Hopefully not too much longer after that. It's going to be an in-swinging corner for South Shields. It's gone very hard to start off with. It's towards Kemp, who says he's being handled by Williamson. Ref says no. It's played out towards the right wing position as he looks to flick it over Campbell Gordon. He's done well to force it all the way back over halfway of Jeremy Sterry. And he has to play it into Darius Osai, whose touch is good, takes it away for Ainge. Dennison looks to apply the press now on Briggs and South Shields have worked it out to the left hand side midway inside the Trinity half AJ Greaves gets skipped past by Osai and he takes a strike took a deflection and it will be another corner for South Shields South Shields just looking to keep the ball a little bit better than we've seen so far neither side have been great at it so far but it's been an edgy start to the match Trinity had that bit of a gift an opportunity that Simon Ainge probably thought he should have taken inside probably first two minutes of the game after a sloppy back pass and other than that it's been uh, half chances and it's a corner here for South Shields it's just on towards the penalty spot Jackson doesn't come for it met by captain John Shaw but there's no power on the header and it just trickles into Tom Jackson's hands he looks at what his options are he's got Campbell Gordon up on the left hand side in the wing back position ignores him 
and we'll look to send this long, inevitably for the head of Simon Ainge. It is long, it's a, lot, it's a big kick there from Tom Jackson, but John Shaw has a free stab at that, only into Dennison in the midfield, Ainge flicks it on, Declan Bacon's offside, and even if he'd have managed to dink that in and over the keeper, wouldn't have counted. Flag is up. First time Ainge's really won one of those headers up there though, and it's flicked it on him. You can see that's the game plan with uh, Declan Bacon and Simon Ainge up top together. Just a clip forward for South Shields, but that's a poor ball from them. Kamal Grant happy to let it run through to Tom Jackson, who can send it forward looking for Bacon, who gambles over the top of James Derry. Goes down, ref says no, no foul. Bacon's not happy with it. And South Shields will play on here with James Derry at right back into the feet of Jordan Hunter been pressed by Dennison and he can play it back to Miles Boney he's very comfortable with his feet he's played out to John Shaw he's got Blair Adams making a move ahead of him Alexander Kempstroff is in the midfield but it's switched all the way over towards Robert Briggs Matt Baker as well to head that and then it's met by Ryan Campbell-Gordon can't get it towards AJ Bruce however it's with Hunter in the midfield Greaves intercepts that one as South Shields looks to build in Trinity half and it's Greaves looks to play up the line to Gordon it's blocked and it'll be a throw for Trinity. <laughs> Referee is having a word with Darius so, so I'm not too sure what for. It looks like he's been poked in the eye potentially. All parties happy to play on and Campbell Gordon will throw this long again for Trinity. Well over halfway once he goes this. He's just level with Kurtz's technical area. It's midway inside the South Shields half now. Ames challenges with Sterry but Sterry can do it long for South Shields. Kemps is chasing James Williamson, or Matt Baker rather, who just sort of sends it up rather than out, and it'll be a throw in for South Shields, midway inside the Trinity half, which Jordan Hunter has. Kemps still wants it down the line, but it's thrown rather inside to the midfield. Campbell Gordon presses Hunter, he sends it back towards Philip Turnbull, and he gives it to Darius Osai. He plays out towards Kemps on the right hand side, charging towards the byline, met by Williamson. Crossed in, met, cleared by Grant. Kempsa stabs at it. It's a very weird, sort of the sole of his foot stabbed that back into the penalty area when he's laying on the floor. And uh, Tom Jackson was up above Darius Osai to claim the ball. Jackson will send this long once again for the Holy Blues. Not out his hands this time, though, along the floor. He looks at his options. Long. Ainge will challenge that. Tells Bacon to make the run. It's lost in the air and it's with Jamie Sterry at right back and then his right winger, Jordan Hunter, clips it forward. Kempster looks to flick it on and does so, but Matt Baker's there to collect and feed it into Alex Wiles. He flicks it towards AJ Greaves, sets it back to Williamson on halfway. Greaves, it's a loose pass from him and Kempster picks up. Osai times has run well. Ref Linesman says he's onside. Shades of offside, but Osai towards the byline. Sliding tackle from Williamson to recover. And it will be a corner kick. As Kamal Grant is not happy with the linesman there. The ref has had to stop him rushing over to him. But it will be a corner for South Shields. I have to say, I was probably banging line with it. And I had to say Osai was probably onside there. Timed it well. But it was, it was a tight one. And was, if VAR was around, it would definitely have been consulted if anything happened. Either way, it's a corner. It'd be an in-swing, which Kempster takes. Towards the back post. Ainge wins it, but can only head it towards Greaves. He's on his byline and he thumps it clear. Deck Bacon will look to challenge it, but Sterry wins a header. Back towards, on the 18-yard box, it's now Briggs. Looks to take it past Grant, steps onto his right foot, looks to bend one, it's over the bar. And Trinity can't reset here. We've played 15 minutes in this one. The scores remain Trinity nil, South Shields nil. It's been a lively start, but no goal so far. Tom Jackson just settling it. Simon Ainge will once again be the obvious option for Holy Blues. He's had a good battle with John Shaw and Dylan Morse there, the, uh, the South Shield centre half. Be looking for Bacon to flick, to get onto the end of the flick on. It's long, it's accurate, it's going to hit Ainge's head if he wins it and he flicks it on well. Bacon's challenging, can't quite win it, but it falls to Dennis who looks to press the midfield. Hook's clear. Kamal Grant was head over the back of Osai, but it's not a foul, and it's played out towards the left wing. It's just about 10 yards inside the, the South Shields half. He finds Briggs, and he can set Callum Ross. He finds Dylan Moss, and it's sprayed out towards Jamie Stone. 
Sasha is very comfortable on the ball. As it's played from Sterry into Osai. Williamson does well to win it off him and plays out towards Campbell Gordon before it goes all the way back to Tom Jackson in the Trinity net. It's long from him, it's slightly flatter, it's intercepted in the midfield, but Graves, Graves can collect, brings Wiles into the play. James Williamson has it in the central areas for Trinity, he looks to clip it forward. Bacon will do well to get on the end of that as Dylan Morse gets there first, plays it back towards Miles Boney in goal and then played out again towards John Shaw. Simon Ainge closer to put the pressure on him as it's clipped forward by John Shaw, but not very accurately. Looking for Kempster, but it's straight out of play in front of the Trinity fans who greet that pass with uh, ironic jeers. Kamal Grant, ball in his hands. Midway inside the Trinity half, although he keeps moving forwards with that, so now he's about 10 yards out, out away from halfway. A couple more steps, and he's flung it midway inside the South Shore's half. Met by Shields' head, collected by AJ Greaves. The pole gets in my view. Clipped forward, I think, by Matt Dixon, but the run of Ainge nor Bacon was there. And Miles Boney has plenty of time to give it to his captain, John Shaw. He brings it forward, he's got enough time to bring it forward. There's no real press. He's gone all the way from left back up to halfway. And he looks at his options, plays it out to Jamie Sterry at right back. Brings it over halfway long, looks at his options. He's met by Greaves, brings it inside towards Darren Sosai. He plays it out towards the touchline, 1-2 of Hunter, and Osai gets towards the byline, fizzes it across, and it's, a, it's Robert Briggs with the strike. He had plenty of time, but he probably taken a touch. He took it first time, and he's, he's, he's mishit that, skewed it, and looped it over the bar. He would have felt, felt he could have done better with that. It's a good 1-2 from Shields, out on the right-hand side. Osai linking up with Hunter. Cut back, found his man Briggs, but he could not convert from 18 yards. So it'll be Tom Jackson to clear this once again. Be aiming for Simon Ainge. Trinity really held their own. We obviously know the quality shields have. Cruelly denied promotion with the curtailment of last season. But there's uh, they're level on points as they come into this one. It's, uh, it's clipped forward by Campbell Grant. Bacon will chase. It's taken by John Shaw and given to Jamie Sterry, a right back. And he can clip it rather confidently to his left centre half in Callum Morse and now John Shaw nice touch to open up some more space for him Ainge looks to add the press John Shaw then opts to go back for his keeper at Marlboni and play it back out to Jamie Stowe Trinity have got to balance this press well because if they get it wrong uh, they, South Shields can get past the press then they've got the quality uh, up top to, to cause some damage so it's about finding the right balance can't go gung-ho against a team like this. They're so confident on the ball that uh, one misplaced pass or one, one good pass and they're through, rather. As Osai looks to bring it forward. Midway inside the Trinity half. Grant halts him coming any further and plays it out to Hunter. He's met by Campbell, Campbell Gordon. And a combination of him and AJ Greaves puts the ball out for a throw. It's Jamie Sterry brings it onto his chest and plays it into Turnbull back out to Sterry, he's got a bit of time to bring it forward, he's taking a lot of yards, looks to clip it in towards Kempster, it's a good ball, Kempster flicks it on towards the back post and it's just narrowly wise but it, you can't give Shields that much time. So he picks up just, into, just inside Trinity territory, he managed to bring it to, towards the 18 yard box, not quite there and he clipped it from a deep position onto the head of Kempster who, who rose above Baker I think it was flicks it on towards the back post where nobody was able to convert but just past the post scores remain 0-0 in this one it's Tom Jackson will once again send it long to Simon Ainge sounding like a broken record it's a flat one this time however and it's not made halfway. It's gone out for a Shields throw just before halfway, which Hunter will take. Into the feet of Briggs, flicks it onto both sides. Met by Williamson. Williamson does well again. He's marshaled both sides very well so far. Wiles has ended up sprinting back towards his own byline. It was one a free. It was one a throw in rather, but South Shields are like a on him in a hurry to rush him. It's just about one throw in those. Sturry heads it. 
sent to forwards again by AJ Bruce, but now it's all the way back at the goalkeeper at Miles Bone. He sends it long. Williamson versus Kempston in the air. Williamson wins that one. AJ Bruce can't win the second, but Campbell Gordon can. Into the feet of Ainge, just, touch, just lets him down, and then he fouls Dylan Morse. That'll be a free kick for Shields, which they will take quick. Which they do. Into the feet of Kempster, who's come short for this. Williamson travels with him, and then he's got to track his run. Is it Sterry? Plays it into the midfield. Den uh, Declan Bacon gets back well to force him back. It's with Turnbull. He looks to spray it out to John Shaw. As my view is just obstructed, but I can see John Shaw's turn back. And we'll play this over towards Dylan Morse. So how sure it's just on that edge. If they get one pass wrong, Trinity are in here, but they're yet to make a mistake. Barring that one inside two minutes, which Ainge couldn't convert. But it's Dixon now, intercepts. He brings it over halfway and brings it inside. He looks for options and gives it to AJ Groves, who sets it back to Wiles, back to AJ Groves, just on the halfway line for Trinity. Wiles looks to get back on the ball, dictates some things. It's back with AJ Groves and back with Wiles again. Campbell Gordon wants to flick it around the corner to Dixon, has ended up sort of centrally <laughs> from his right wing position. Dennison covered him well. And here's a throw in for Trinity. Alex Wiles. Campbell Gordon ends up coming back towards his own goal. Greaves flicks it in the midfield, gets away with it with the deflection, finds Alex Wiles. Dennison centrally, about 30 yards from goal. Into Ainge, who turns his man well, rolled him brilliantly, he uses strength, his shot is blocked. South Shields can clear. Although it's been given as a foul in the area. So the South Shields for a kick. But Simon Ainge managed to pin his man there. John Shaw, I think it was, turned him, rolled him brilliantly to open up the space for a shot. But I think, well, a combination of John Shaw and his fellow centre-half, Dylan Morse, in the end, was enough to slide in and make the block. As AJ Greaves has gone down here. Physio runs on for him. Hopefully nothing too serious. On the bench for Trinity today, in case they're needed, you've got Keaton Ward, Zach Walker, Taylor Carcash, Bradley Ronis, and Scott Hutchinson. So, as we know, Trinity low on numbers as it is. Perhaps the only benefit of the lockdown to be implemented from Thursday will be that Trinity can potentially get back some of that long injury list. There is the likes of Tyler Hamilton, Rico Fife, and Rod Orlando Young in the stands in the pink stand today, watching on. Greg Smith's wandering about somewhere. I've seen him a couple of times. So they can't all be too far from coming back, but it'd be the only benefit of this lockdown. So AJ Greaves seems to be moving okay. He's back on his feet. I think the ref telling him you've got to, you've got to leave the pitch and we'll, I'll call you back on. Seems to be a bit of confusion about that one. Um, the scores are nil-nil, of course. If you. Not tuned in since I've last read the score lines. We're about 25 minutes into this one now. It's a cold, cold evening here at the North Home. As Dylan Morse gets us back underway. And he sends it diagonally across, looking for his left back, Matty Blair. Oh, Blair Adams, sorry. It's a combination of Trinity's right back and their left back as it's played towards, or stabbed towards Osai, who then gives Kamal Grant a shove. Who will get a free kick for that. I don't know what the ref's doing here. He seems to have called somebody over. I, I saw, of course, it's Darius I saw. They've had quite the tussle. Kamal Grant's had a battle as well with Kempster. He's come out on top on pretty much all of them, yet to be found out. Referee just saying that there's no need for that push. I saw, probably agreeing with him. But it will be a free kick for the Blues once this gets back underway. Bang on the 18 yard box. Referee now having a word with Tom Jackson. Referee for this one is Jamie O'Connor. He's had quite a few chats with players so far. He's, he's not he's not shy to, you know, stop the play and have a quick convo. But it will be Tom Jackson now. There's a ref blows the whistle to get this one back underway. Simon Ainge, inevitable target. It's a long one. Ainge battles with Shaw. Misses out. It's won by Kempster on halfway and Osai sets it back. Shields before it's clipped over the top. Matt Baker has a race with Kempster, slides in, doesn't win the ball according to the ref, and from a crossing position level the 18-yard box, left-hand side of the Trinity half, it will be a free kick for South Shields. Has been a lively start. Neither team have really settled, I would say. It's been energetic from both sides. 
but a real opportunity here for South Shields. The centre halves are up from the back. They've only left Jamie Sterry back and the left back Blair Adams. This is Trinity Subs have been out to warm up. Referee having a word with Matt Baker. He has booked him. It's the first yellow of the game. Matt Baker's been booked for his challenge on Alexander Kempster. And it will now be a free kick for South Shields. I think a booking's probably fair. I think Baker thought he got there right at the last. Uh, Kempster found a turn of pace, just got touching. Took the contact, went down. It'd be a free kick here for South Shields. Right, level with the corner of the 18-yard box. Be an in-swinger. It's a flat one, but it's headed easily away by Dennison, all the way back towards Blair Adams on halfway for South Shields. And he sends it all the way back to his goalkeeper, Miles Boney. It's Trinity look to get out. And it's clipped towards the right-hand side. Alex Wiles will challenge that, wins it. It's a big header, but it's going to go all the way back to Boney and goal. He's got enough time to control this and play it to his centre-half. But I think there's Dylan Morse. Might be wrong. And he plays it out to Jamie Sterrett right back. Halfway now is Hunter. He has to go back again. And he gives it to Dylan Morse again. He's got enough time to bring it into the midfield. He finds Briggs. He finds Sterry. And once again, South Shield's happy to keep the ball. They're doing it well so far. In with Callum Ross in midfield. Now all the way towards the left-hand side. It's then brought back to Dylan Morse. And then back to Jamie Sterrett right back over halfway. Level cuts the technical area, past him, Greaves comes to meet him, whipped in, left by Kempster. It's Briggs, Kempster strike, blocked by Wiles. I don't think he knew too much about it. And then cleared again. But Trinity just having to dig in here. South Shields look to keep the ball and amp up the pressure. To Ross. Plays it out towards John Shaw. Wodehouse barking his orders there at his troops. And that's with Blair Adams at left back. Into the feet of Briggs. His touch is loose. And Dixon can nip into take that away from South Shields and now Dennison looks to clip it over the top Ainge is the closest man to it but he's been taken on a bit too easily there by Morse and it's again South Shields have set again and it's out towards Sterry right back has enough time to get his touch in look forward and play it into the feet of Kempster first time touch AJ Greaves is in strong challenge wins it Cam Campbell Gordon, 1-2 with Bacon, comes inside. It's a strong tackle from Ross, who wasn't happy with the challenge from Greaves. It's Curtis Woodhouse, brings Declan Bacon over for a chat. A couple of instructions that I can't work out from up here. And Campbell Gordon will look to get this underway again for Trinity. Ref wants him to hurry up, and he does, and he throws it towards Ainge. Takes a nudge in the back, but no foul. And it's with hot Turnbull in midfield. He plays it out towards Blair Adams at left back. Midway inside the South Shields half. And it's all the way back to the 18 yard box with Captain John Shaw. He can step forward again, bring it into the midfield. And played up towards Darius Osai, left on side. Kamal Grant gets a foot in, but it's still with Osai. He flicks it towards Briggs. Back over towards Osai. He's one-on-one -on -one here with Jackson. Takes a shot. Big save from Tom Jackson. Strong right glove there to prevent him, to prevent Osai from opening the scoring. It's a lovely one-two for South Shields. Osai made a break down the left-hand side into the area. And now Briggs gets past his man, strikes it. And over the goal into the stands and Trinity can reset again. South Shields come close. Fantastic save from Tom Jackson, one-on-one. -on -one. Osai had it in the midfield, one-two. He slipped back through. Into the 18-yard box, left-hand side. Looks to bend it to the right of the goal. Tom Jackson, big save to prevent him from doing so. It's Kamal Grant's now down. He'll be the next one needing some treatment. About 15 minutes now until half-time. It's a physio come from Kamal Grant. All the time. Can't switch off. Score still 0-0. Alex Wiles having a chat with uh, Williamson and Matt Baker. The, the five at the bat for Trinity seems to be working quite well. They do look solid. Um, you're not, you're always going to concede chances against South Shields, of course you are. We know the quality they've got, but barring a big save from Jackson, I can't think how 
how often you know South Shields have really troubled Trinity. They've, they've marshaled them well so far, and Trinity haven't been out of it. They've, had, they've created some good chances themselves. I'll go back to the Simon Ames one inside three minutes, really, where loose back pass. And just from watching it, you get the sense that South Shields very, very comfortable on the ball, of course. But one misplaced pass, and, and, and Trinity, they're, they're setting traps. They'll be ready to pounce on them, and uh, they've come close a couple of times. Kamal Grant seems to be moving, moving fine. And as soon as he's allowed, the ref will wave him back onto the pitch. The ref said he can come on. And Trinity back to 11, as it's with James Sterry for South Shields. And then towards Darius Osai. First time sets it into the midfield. Kamal Grant can get there in front of Kempster. He slips. So it's no foul as he clatters into Kempster, but Dixon can pick it up, level the 18 yard box, right side for Trinity. Dennison, one touch from his chest, flips it forward. Declan Bacon applying the press there on John Shaw, and he gives it back to Miles Boney. Composed from him to Morse, and then back to Shaw. And then up towards Blair Adams at left back. About 10 yards inside their own half, South Shields. Once again, composed on the ball. Trinity seem to be happy to let them have them there, they're just setting traps around the pitch. As it's played by Sterry, up towards Hunter at right wing, met by Campbell Gordon as it's back to Sterry. He takes a tur turn, rather, but opts back for Dylan Morse, who's been pressed by Deck Bacon. And it's played out towards John Shaw, over halfway now for Shields, midway inside Trinity half now before he's met by Alex Wiles. Strong foot from here, John Shaw's out of position, Wiles can play up the line looking for Bacon, he's in a foot race with Dylan Morse. I think Baker would have him for the pace, but Morse just had the head start to get that ahead of him. And he plays it back to Miles Boney on the byline. He's composed enough to find John Shaw, the captain. And he will look to turn out towards the midfield. He looks for his options in midfield, South Shore's midfield only. He can clip it in towards his partner. Looking to dink it with spin out towards Darius Osai. Takes it off Kamal Grant and can fizz it on the right, and it's blocked by Matt Baker. Kamal Grant just nudged off it there. Osai using a bit of that experience, Grant perhaps should put his foot for it instead of taking the touch. Osai wins the ball. He's to the left of the 18-yard box, then has the option to bend at far post or set his man. He looked to bend it, it was blocked. Kempster feels like he should have had it set squared to him. Nevertheless, it will be a corner for South Shields as the score remains 0-0 on this one. So it's truly missing a lot of uh, key players out there, but they're, they're really holding their own. It's an in-swing corner onto the penalty spot. Met by Dillian Morse, and it's a fantastic save by Tom Jackson. Low to his left, that was creeping in. And he sprung well and low and got there just to tip it around the post. It'll be another corner for South Shields, which uh, Kempster will take. Again, an in-swinger, left-footed this time. Two hands up. I weren't at their training ground, so I don't know what that means. It's deep towards... Simon Ainge is the one that's won that. And then Briggs is met by Campbell Grant, Gordon. But South Shields haven't the edge of the area. Take the shot, saved by Jackson, well held. It was uh, Ross that took the shot. And straight down the middle of uh, Tom Jackson, he'll be happy to claim that one and reset the 10 outfield players in front of him. This ball is in his hands and he sends it long, it's very high. I wouldn't want to be underneath that when it comes down, but Ainge is. He takes one in the back from Morse. Referee says no, get up. And uh, Osai challenges with Williamson and Wiles in the midfield. AJ Grews can intercept, does so well. Sets it back to Lewis Dennison. Flick towards Simon Ainge, holds it up well. Grews into the feet of Bacon, looking back for Simon Ainge, intercepted. And South Shields have it in the midfield. Midway inside their half, back to Jamie Sterry, right at right back. He looks for who's got ahead of him, plays it into Turnbull, and then back to Sterry. He takes it past Graves into the Trinity half, clips it, looking for Osai. Touch from Grant's not great. Os he can put pressure on Osai, however. And it's cleared by Tom Jackson. Nervy there from Trinity, but they just about do enough to get away with it. Lovely turn in midfield from Turner. Hunter, sorry, for South Shields. A pirouette in there to take it past Greaves and Campbell Gordon. Goes down, wins the free kick. Bang on halfway. Just taking a quick ball off into the midfield. Briggs has that taken off him by Baker. Baker can win it. His touch is loose, and it's Dylan Morse, out towards John Shaw at left back. More than willing a South Shields to, to build from the back. 
Trinity just setting their traps, like I say, over the pitch. Not too eager to go rushing in because they'll get picked off if they're not careful. So just setting those traps. Happy for South Shields to have the ball where it is as they look to switch it towards Kempster. He brings it down and brings Jamie Sterling to play. Just in five paces inside his own half. Now over halfway. As Bacon looks to engage. And Jamie Sterling brings it back onto halfway for Ross. He switches it into his midfield partner, Turnbull. Footwork confuses himself, but it's John Shaw who can bring it forward midway inside the, the Trinity half into Briggs, who turns away from Baker, looks at his options and sets it back towards Ross. And then Turnbull. Stabbed forward towards John Shaw, who stayed forward, takes touch on his right, fires it over the bar. It wasn't a million miles away from the captain there, the centre half. It made his run forward, it stayed up there, got it back into feet, turned well, and then just fired over. Curtis Woodhouse calling for AJ Greaves on that, because I was in midfield to be a little bit tight to them then. It's a tough one against a side like South Shield, who have got the ability just to turn and they're away. So you, you, you can't engage too much, but you also can't stand off them and let them just play around you. It's been, it's been an impressive showing from Trinity so far, obviously down on numbers. But they are very much in this fight at 0-0. As we edge towards half-time in this one, Tom Jackson over the halfway line. Bacon looks flick on, misses his head. Hunter looks to leave it. And he can play the throw into Ross, back to Stone. Hunter, Ross, and South Shields are out once again. As it's with Turnbull. Who gives it to the overlapping John Shaw once again? The centre halves have been overlapping quite a lot. The centre mids are happy to rotate and drop back into centre back, vice versa. So it's another another area of the South Shields game. Trinity have got to switch on to. As Jamie Sterry brings it forward again, he's been tossing up and down this right hand side. He cuts it inside. Can't quite see what's happening. There's a gantry blocks my view. But AJ Groose comes out with the ball. He gives it to Campbell Gordon, who gives it back to Williamson, and he picks up the ping stand. Seven minutes from half time in this one. And plus added time. James Stone has it halfway. He plays it into the feet of Ross. He spreads it out to John Shaw on halfway, and his first touch takes it over into Trinity territory. Dennison looks to meet him, but it's played towards Blair at left back. He's got forward, level the 18 yard box, looks to stand up Matt Dixon, comes inside of him, sets it back to Turnbull. Looks at his options, he's met well by Dixon. And it's Briggs. Right in front of Curtis Woodhouse here, this technical area. In towards Hunter. Campbell, ground, Campbell Gordon goes down with Hunter. Hunter gets up first, slots into Briggs. Call for offside. No, no from the linesman. Met by Kempster, blocked by James Williamson. Cleared by Kamal Grant, blocked by... Uh, can't quite work out who that is for... I think it's John Shaw. He's, he's got forward again there for South Shields. Bit of ping-pong in the area. Never really too much of a threat, I would say. Um, after the initial break towards the byline from uh, from Hunter there. And uh, Woodhouse gives Wiles a shove. Tells him to... <laughs> I don't know what he told him. But the calls from Woodhouse for the last five minutes have been to get tighter in the midfield. Five minutes till half-time. Tom Jackson alone for Simon Ainge once again. Long from Jackson, over halfway. It's Dennison that has to challenge that one, but he loses out to Turnbull in the field. Ainge can flick it on. Bacon might get away with one there. He doesn't. John Shaw intercepts. And Blair Adams, the left back, comes inside before setting it to John Shaw. Scoops it out towards, I think that's Ross. Now Turnbull, John Shaw, touch to take it away from the on rushing Declan Bacon. Played into the midfield. Dennison slides well and wins that. Osar can pick it up and now it's Ross AJ Greaves got back well and his block meant Campbell Gordon could calmly play it back to Tom Jackson without too much pressure clipped long from Jackson Shell she's been the ball and now Sterry has it over halfway he looks for Hunter who's running behind Campbell Gordon into the area fizzed it across looking for Briggs blocked by a combination of Baker and Williamson and now Kamal Grant can Drive out from the back, is met by Ross, and he sets Dixon. He sets, he sets Wiles back to Dixon. It's lost in the midfield, though, and Darius Osai has it. Dixon challenges him from behind. Ref says free kick. 
and South Shields will have an option here to send it into the box from midway inside Trinity Half. Pretty central. John Shaw stayed back, the uh, centre half for South Shields. Dylan Morse said, wait, I want to get forward, but it's been taken quick. It's played out towards Sterry, who looks towards Hunter. Hasn't given it to yet, now he has, and Hunter takes his touch. His first touch is backwards towards Morse. He turns away from Ames, plays it out to John Shaw. He brings it over halfway on the left-hand side. Looks for his options ahead of him. Gives it to his left back, Blair Adams, midway inside Trinity half, into the feet of Osai, and then central towards Briggs. He's been met by Williamson, but he can get it back out to Osai on the left hand side. He's met by Wiles, gets a foot in, but it falls to Briggs again. And then all the way back to Shaw, midway inside Trinity territory. His first touch is a positive one towards the Trinity goal. Looks to play into the feet of Kempster, blocked well by Dennis in the midfield, and now Greaves can collect. Play towards Declan Bacon. It's a lunging tackle in the midfield from Ross, who wins the ball. And now Turnbull can play it out towards Hunter at right mid. He looks to take it past Campbell Gordon, takes it past Greaves. It's good feet from the number seven from South Shields, and he sent it back towards Turnbull. Now Ethan, now Ethan Ross, John Shaw. It's not even Ethan Ross on the pitch. As it's into the feet of Darius Osai, now it's at left wing with uh, Blair Adams, looks to stand up Matty Dixon, level the 18 yard box, into the feet of Turnbull and now Briggs, his touch is loose and Kamal Grant can play it up towards Simon Ainge, it's long again from Trinity and I think they're just looking to get through to half time here, it's not long until they can get to the break and with the scores level, Trinity very much in this game. As it's Sterry, into the feet of Ross and now Sterry again. Kempster wanted it long, but he's instead giving it to Hunter. He comes inside Campbell Gordon again and plays it out towards John Shaw. He's driving forward again from centre half from South Shields into the feet of Hunter, looking for Kempster, intercepted by Campbell Gordon and played towards Breeze. His first touch looks to take him past Ross. He chops inside, does him well. But then as he looks for Simon Ainge, the pass is loose. Then Jamie Sterry collects it. Jamie Sterry now, all the way through. He's gone down. I think he's just screamed loud enough to win that one. I didn't see anything. There might have been a foot dangling there. I was too busy looking at the part he played, which was up towards the right hand side. Um, no one from South Shields is going to get on the end of that. But he's, he's bought himself a free kick. And with about a minute until half time, South Shields have another chance to get the ball into the box. Centrally again, midway inside the Trinity half, clips forward towards Osai. He's got Baker behind him and Wiles. He's forced to come back. Greaves lunges in and then Osai shoves Dennison off the ball, clips it through the gap of Dennison and Wiles. But Dennison's feet is left in there. And it'll be a free kick for South Shields in a much more dangerous position this time. So referee calls over Dennison, I think. I don't think there's any malicious intent there from Dennison. He just got caught. He looked to sort of block a pass, really, but Osai sort of clipped it over his foot and looked to burst through the gap of Dennison and Wiles. Obviously took the contact and went down, and I don't think Dennison knew too much about it, to be honest with you. But it will be a free kick for Shell Shields on the right corner of the 18-yard box, which Briggs will look to take. It'll be an outswinger. But everybody forward bar Adams and Sterry, the full-backs from South Shields. Trinity would be gutted if they're concede to concede now. They've worked so hard to stay level. It's taken by Briggs. It's a flat one, headed by Simon Ainge. And it's midway inside the Trinity half now. It's Turnbull turns and plays it out towards Sterry. He's occupied left back, clips it from deep in towards the box, flicked on by Kempster, all the way out, however. And it'll be a goal kick for Jackson and Trinity survive that late scare in this half to keep the scores at 0-0. I'm yet to see the, advertise, the, the, the board go up for how long it's going to be added on in this one. There hasn't been too many stoppages because each time there's been a free kick, both sides have been eager to play on. That is the 45 minutes up in this one. First half, anyway. Score still remain 0-0. It's Tom Jackson. We'll look for the head of Simon Ainge. Could well be it for the first half once this is taken. And it is indeed... And Trinity will enter the break in a well-deserved draw, you have to say. Both sides have had their chances, Simon Ainge early, and Simon Ainge again when he managed to roll his man, but his shot was blocked. 
South Shields have been dangerous in possession, as you expect. Trinity have done enough so far to keep them out. So as both sides go into the break at 0-0, we will be back for the second half in 15 minutes' time. Good evening and welcome back to the second half coverage of this evening's uh, North, pitching in Northern Premier League fixture between Gaines for Trinity and South Shields. I've spent the last 15 minutes trying to warm myself up in preparation for the next freeze in 45 minutes. What you're interested in, however, is how Trinity are doing and the score is 0-0 as it stands. Uh, Trinity doing very well uh, defensively, restricted South Shields to a few chances, but by doing so haven't been too open themselves uh, they've had a couple of decent opportunities most notably for Simon Ainge very early on and then midway through the second half where he managed to turn and fire but the shot was blocked and then Tom Jackson was called upon strong save from Darius Osai and then a strong save to deny Dylan Morse from a corner the score is 0-0 here as South Shields will get us underway for the second half there's been no changes I can see the break so in case you missed it in the first half I'll run you through the team for Trinity it's Tom, Thomas Jackson Matt Dixon Ryan Campbell Gordon Kamal Grant Matt Baker James Williamson AJ Greaves Alex Wiles Simon Ainge Declan Bacon and Lewis Dennison and for South Shields it's Miles Boney Jamie Sterry Blair Adams John Shaw Dylan Morse Callum Ross Jordan Hunter Philip Turnbull Darius Osai Robert Briggs and Alexander Kempster as we are underway in the second half here at the North Home and John Shaw has the ball and if anything, if the first half is anything to go by, I'll be saying the names of Dylan Morse and John Shaw a fair few times here. As John, Dylan Morse's pass is not a good one, and Declan Bacon can latch onto it. Slip through Simon Ainge, looks to take a strike, but Jamie Sterry comes across well to get a block in, turn it around for a corner, and much like the first half started, where uh, South Shields had a loose pass, South uh, Gaines with Trinity setting up those traps in the midfield, managed to win it back, Declan Bacon, ba Declan Bacon broke free. S tried to slot through Simon Ainge who from about 18 yards had to take a strike because James Sterry came across and managed to put a block in so it will be a corner which Matt Dixon will take be an outswinger from the right hand side looking for the head of Grant it's met by Williamson keeper goes up doesn't really punch Alex Wilde stabs at it but it's high and it's into the stands behind the goal Trinity kicking left to right in this half um, but it's uh, 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 an energetic start from Trinity lively but South Shields under pressure but of course South Shields did start that way in the first half and then grew into the game scores remain 0-0 in this one this is cleared by Miles Boney it's a long kick looking for Briggs in the midfield Kamal Grant just about gets saved don't know much about it and it's fizzed up towards Declan Bacon who says he was fouled there by Jamie Sterling has won a foul. Declan Bacon seems to be in a bit of pain here. It's not one of those where you just try to, to buy a free kick. He's, he's clearly taking some sort of whack um, from the South Shields right back. Seems to be holding his foot. Perhaps just got stood on. But it will be a Trinity free kick either way. Dead centre is the South Shields half midway inside centre in terms of angle it's an awkward one to be able to get a delivery on it's, it's going to be Dixon that takes it assume towards the back post you've got Matt Baker Kamal Grant and Simon Angel there be looking to rise the highest for this one Trinity do seem to have the slight height advantage here as it's clipped floated towards Simon Angel he does well in the air into AJ Greaves he looks to fire it and AJ Greaves has got to score that the best chance of the game for either side Ainge gets up well, stronger than his man in the air, heads it into the area, six yards out, AJ Greaves looks to just smash it home and he's put it wide of the post and Trinity should be 1-0 up, but South Shields make no time going up the other end, Kamal Grant with a big interception to stop it finding its way to Kempster, Jackson came out looking for it, Grant took it past him and tried to clear it and the Trinity fans have found their voice here as it's switched by Shields out towards uh, Adams at left back, he looks to stand up Dixon, take it inside on his right foot. 1-2 with Briggs, and then it's set back to Turnbull in the midfield. And Trinity really should be 1-0 up for sure there. That's a golden opportunity for AJ Greaves, and he will be few minutes missed that. As it's looked, it's turned by Ross towards the right winger, Hunter. 
but uh, Ryan Campbell Grant has marshalled him very well. Ryan Campbell Gordon, sorry, has marshalled him well and has uh, seen that one out for a goal kick for the Holy Blues. That AJ Grieve chance that you, you'll keep going back to that as he shakes his head as he steps back into midfield. They're not the sort of chances you can pass up against a side like South Shields. And you just wonder, will you come back? Will that come back to haunt the Holy Blues? Very early still in the second half, of course. Barely played five minutes, but the scores remain nil-nil, but Trinity should be in front. It's a goal kick from Jackson. It's just over halfway. And South Shields clip it forward. Matt Baker wins a header. Ainge brings it down his chest. Pretty much in the Greg Smith role. Never really thought of it that way, to be honest, but they're a similar sort of player, I guess, up top. Mm -hmm as it's played forwards towards Kempster and he turns away from Williamson over halfway driving towards goal into the 18 yard box it's a good run from Kempster fires it big save from Tom Jackson and he could hold on to it but that was a fantastic run from Kempster he turned Matt Baker on halfway and had the pace to drive all the way into the 18 yard box looked to fizz it cross goal but uh, Tom Jackson the Trinity net called upon for another big save and he's done well Trinity of course aiming for three back-to-back -back wins in midweek under the lights on a Tuesday, which is a strange statistic, but if it gives Trinity back-to-back -back wins based on this season's inconsistencies, I'm sure Curtis Woodhouse will take it. It's Matty Dixon with the ball in his hands, just in front of Curtis Woodhouse in his technical area. Referee saying, step back, you've, come, you've gained too many yards. He hasn't really got too many options here. He's got a Got aim for something. The referee's asked him to take another couple of steps back. So now Dixon will take it. Looking for Declan Bacon. Headed away by South Shields. Brought down by, I think that's Turnbull in the field. And he sends it up over halfway. But Baker can win that. But it's only to Briggs. And now it's Ross. He's got Osai running in front of him. And he uses him. His first touch is into the path of Campbell Gordon who can tackle well for the ball to end up in the hands of Tom Jackson that goal kick's a flat one it's cut out in midfield by Turnbull but Kamal Grant can step into midfield and he can find the feet of Simon Ainge looks to turn his man as the balls look to be clipped out towards Declan Bacon the South Shields captain John Shaw just won't accept and then it's played up the line by South Shields Tom Jackson has to come Q stadium thud it's missed that I thought we were going to have a deafening thud off the uh, roof of the stadium it's missed that as it's cleared high by I think Baker and it's a throw in for South Shields on halfway Adams links up well with Turnbull Declan Bacon comes well and he intercepts in the midfield he's dropped deep there to win that and he plays it out to Campbell Gordon shouts of man on but he's composed enough to turn Look at his options and feed it into the feet of Dennison, who turns away from Jamie Sterry, flicks it towards Declan Bacon. It's a good move from Trinity. They've not just looked to send it long, which we saw a lot in the first half. Looked to build it there. But now it's flicked through with Kempston. Kamal Grant and James Williamson looks to trap back. Grant does well. Not Grant, sorry. Williamson does well. But shoulder to shoulder with uh, Kempster. He feels like he's been fouled. Referee says, no, your touch was just heavy. You'll never get into it. And it will be a goal kick for the Holy Blues. We're about 10 minutes into the second half now. Trinity very much holding their own against this. A, a, a very tough South Shield side. Both sides seem to be lining up in a 5-2-3 as I've seen my first firework go off opposite me here in the pink stand. It's uh, Tom Jackson with the goal kick for the Holy Boos. It's a better kick from him this time as it's high and over halfway. Ainge challenges, misses out to Ross in the midfield. And now it's Kempster, sets Briggs, looks to slot through Osai. He's one-on-one -on -one with Williamson, takes a shot early into the hands of Tom Jackson. And uh, South Shields have managed to get plenty of shots away so far, but they've not all troubled Jackson. He's had to make two top saves, don't get me wrong. But the majority of them in straight down him, down the middle and easy for him to collect. It's just played long. Ainge looks to back into John Shaw and wins the foul. Declan Bacon tells AJ Greaves to take it slow. <laughs> and Dixon now stands on it. Gives an opportunity for Matt Baker to come forward. Kamal Grant to go forward. Alex Wiles just telling him 
I don't know what he's telling them, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Kamal Grant makes it forward. So there's Grant, Ainge, Williamson all in the box here as Matty Dixon looks to take this towards the back post, over the head of Ainge, up by Williamson. It's rather out, it's sort of cleared it for South Shields, but Greaves can spread it back out to Dixon, has another chance to spread it, clip it, back post, Ainge jumps, flicks up. Bacon can collect this, right outside of the 18-yard box, on the byline, he turns back down and looks for Wiles. Wiles, back to Bacon, stands up his man, gets to the byline. Foot comes in from Blair Adams, and uh, Declan Bacon wins a, a throw-in. He has taken a boot to the foot there. Based on how cold this is, that, that will sting. It's a cold night here at the North Farm. It is clear though, which means it's perfect conditions if you're a player, freezing conditions if you're on the sidelines. Campbell Gordon here, going to use his long throw. Mentioned he had it in the first half. He's come across from left back to right wing to save this. Throwing's pretty much as close to a corner as you can get. Into the box, doesn't clear the first man, headed out. Wilde collects it on the edge, flips it back out towards Campbell Gordon. He curls it in, left foot on the volley, headed clear by James, James Steele. There is a side challenge as well with Kamal Grant, who has stayed down, holding his head so the ref has to stop the play. Um, I'm not cynical enough to think that, that was tactical from Kamal Grant to disrupt the play. If it was, it's not the dark parts of non league very well. And my bad, it's not Kamal Grant, it's AJ Groves. AJ Groves looks a lot taller there when he's on the floor. He is up, back on his feet and slots back into his midfield slot alongside Lewis Dennison. Alex Wilde just checked in that back, back five that Trinity are playing this, this evening. And uh, once again, South Shields take it short, gets back in the way. So John Short in the centre-back position. And he looks to spray it out towards the feet of Jamie Steer. And he does, Jamie Steer, and he does so well. And he brings it over halfway. He's met by Greaves, so he has to clip it forward. It's a brilliant ball over the top for Hunter. He looks to get there, but Williams, Williamson puts in a strong foot. It's given away though by, I think that was Alex Wiles or Lewis Dennison. We saw, no, Campbell Gordon by the looks of it. It was a loose pass there. Gave South Shields another attempt to go forward, and this time they fall a corner. So, unnecessary pressure piled on themselves here from the Holy Blues. It's an in swing corner from Kempster. So, he takes a couple of paces back and looks to deliver this. Dylan Morse is up. John Shaw is up from the back from South Shields, but he doesn't get it past Lewis Dennison, the first man. And AJ Grews looks to chase this. Referee says he's fouled, and that looks a little harsh. I don't think the uh, South Shields man had anywhere to go as he's uh, heading back towards his own goal. Went down, and he's, he's won a free kick. Can't have any complaints from Greaves, though, because he uh, gave the referee a decision to make. And South Shields take it quick again, and Sterry can burst towards, stinks it towards the back post. Jackson comes to claim it, muddle up with Kamal Grant. But Jackson has it in his hands. Once again, South Shields took that quick. Shaped up as if they're going to curl it in from deep, but they just rolled it forward. Jamie Sterry ran onto it. Bought a couple of yards and clipped it in, but uh, safe hands from Tom Jackson. And it's up in South Shields territory now as the ball's been in the air for a number of headers. And it drops to Dennison. Looks to clip it towards Ainge. Over him. But it's controlled by Bacon. He tries to clip it forward towards Dixon. Does so well. Into the feet of Ainge. 1-2. It's back with Dixon. Right in the corner flag. He stands it into the box. It's not a great delivery. And South Shields have enough time to take their time and play it out towards Osai. He challenges us with Williamson, uses his strength. He's a strong guy, is Osai. He is small, but he's strong. He's played up the line to Hunter, and it's intercepted by Matt Baker. He looks awfully like James Williamson from this distance. It's just my dodgy eyesight. Come on, Come on, with Ross in the midfield. And now Jamie Steyer with a bit of time to bring this forward. He's gained a lot of yards, come inside, skipped away from Campbell Gordon Brown. He's clipped his ankle, and it's a free kick right on the edge of the area. He's just hung his foot in. It's, it's, it's a lazy tackle. It's a really, really lazy tackle um, from Campbell Gordon. Just dangled his foot in, and he, he, he's made contact with uh, Sterry. I think he's a little lucky that that's not another yard closer, because it's right on the edge of the area here, a free kick for South Shields. Briggs has already got his ball in hand. He knows what he wants to do with it, so does Kempster. Sterry's still down here. It's just a, it's a bit of a scrape down the ankle, I think, or the shin. I know Woodhouse wasn't impressed. I could see his reaction following it. 
But when uh, Trinity missed chances like AJ Groves did at the start of the second half, you can't then present them with a dead ball situation right on the edge of the area, well within shooting range. Seems to be an ideal situation for a left footer, which Kempster is. He has been on corners, so he seems like a the obvious choice for this one. To the right of the Trinity area. Might be a bit close to go up and over. It's a big wall from Trinity. It's taken by Briggs, in fact, a right foot, but he can't get past the wall. Come out of ground, looks to put the press on. It's Trinity charge out. Now Bacon win, looks to win it off Briggs. He gets the deflection, but it's uh, collected by Kempster and played back to John Shaw, who sends it long. Campbell Gordon challenges, but it's over him, and now it's with Kempster on the edge He looks to get on his left. Alex Wiles battles really well, and he's took it off the number 11 for South Shields and brings it out and then just puts it into the corner asking Simon Ainge to chase that it's John Shaw that gets there first and can play it into Turnbull he turns away from Greaves who, who clatters into him and South Shields looks to take it quick again referee's going to have another chat here quite likes a chat he's going to bring Greaves over this time was late he protested he won the ball I don't think he did um, it's a Cruyff turn from uh, Turnbull, the midfielder, right on the bite, on the uh, touchline, just to bring it back inside. And uh, AJ Greaves has sort of gone through the back of him to get to it. He might have, he might have made contact with the ball, but not before he went through the man. Um, no bookings. So uh, from the first half, just uh, Matt Baker, I believe, the only yellow card so far. And the scout, South Shields skipper, John Shaw, can clip it up towards Darius Osai. It's challenged by Matt Baker. It's in the midfield here, and it's Osai again who's collected it. Greaves looks to challenge him, but Osai's powerful run is eventually stopped by Campbell Gordon, who plays it in towards the feet of Denison in midfield, and he scoops it outside the foot looking for Campbell Gordon. It's loose, however, and it's collected by Sterry at right back. Slipped all the way through to Hunter, right wing, fizz across the floor, cut out by Williamson, I believe. And now it's Campbell Gordon again, loses out to Sterry again. And now it's in the midfield with Turnbull. John Shaw steps forward from defence, acts as a third midfielder in the centre there for South Shields. He looks to clip it in towards Kempster, does so well. Good tackle from Matt Baker and Greaves can find the feet. Simon Ainge looks to hold it up, sets it back to AJ Greaves. Over the top looking for that Bacon. Turnbull's challenging, both were running with their backs to the ball. No, neither really knew where it was. Turnbull's coming away with it and he will look to play it up the line, turns inside, that Bacon gets a foot in, wins it off him, gets shoved to the floor and wins a free kick and that is fantastic play from Deck Bacon. That's the sort of work weight you need up top when you're, you know, you're, you're not seeing much with the ball. You're getting, you're getting the ball into channels, it's not really to feet. You've got to work hard like that and he's done well. He's won the ball off of Turnbull, it looks to be a bit too clever. Declan Bacon probably looked to win a, win a corner, but he's been shoved to ground anyway. It's a free kick on the corner flag, so it's effectively a corner for the Holy Blues here. It's a cheap one to give away from South Shields. Turnbull protests his innocence, but the referee is having none of it. It's Dixon is standing on this. Whipped in, flat, headed clear at the front post by Turnbull. And Denison looks to get the head of Kempster. Lineson's given it Trinity, so I don't think he's too sure, but Kurt's with us won't be complaining. As Dixon has the ball in his hands. Wiles is the obvious option, but I think he's going to ignore him for now. Taking his time as Dixon. About 20 minutes into the second half. Scores remain 0-0. It's headed, the throw from Dixon is headed away by John Shaw. And then hooks back into midfield by Kamal Grant, but it's loose. And it's collected by Ross. And he looks to, on the half volley, send it over towards Kempster. Grant looks to avoid it again, but his second touch is a lot better. Can take it away from Kempster, flip it towards Denison, intercepted by Turnbull. And then uh, the left back, uh, Blair Adams, can skip away easily from Alex Wiles. So now with James Sterry, the right back takes a strike. It's well wide. There's a lot of time there for uh, both full backs, really. It's too easy for Blair Adams to come inside, and then it's too easy for James Sterry to get the shot away. There will be the first substitution of the evening, number 16 for South Shields, which is Will McCamley. We'll be coming on for number three, Blair Adams, who's just done the little trick in front of us over in the pink stand. So that is uh, number three, Blair Adams, coming off for South Shields, and he's being replaced by number 16, Will McCamley. Don't know what this means, might be a change of shape. 
looks like McCamley's taken up Kempster's role. Kempster's has dropped into left wing back. Seems to be an offensive change then because Kempster has been playing up top off the left uh, South Shield so far. Now it's locked to left wing back. So looks like they'll be going for it now. Uh, Dennison loses the head in the midfield and Grant's asked to challenge against McCamley, who's lively from the off. McCamley forces a throw in for South Shields which uh, Kempster has in his hands. Not got too many options as uh, McCamley makes himself available. Back to Kempster. Passes loose in the field. Dennison can win it. So, so uh, free kick for Trinity. As, as Dennison looks to clip it forward, it seems to be uh, a late challenge from uh, Tough Shields. Once again, doesn't appear to be any malice in that one. I think he just, as he as he planted his foot trying to block, he lifted his leg to block the block the clearance, and as it landed, it ended up on the feet of Dennison. I don't think it's malicious. I don't think the ref thinks it's that, but it is a free kick for the Holy Blues. Briggs does protest his innocence. Referee doesn't want to hear it. It's been a firm ref. And uh, Dennison seems to have taken one for the team as he's hobbling on that a little gingerly. He's moving a little more free, Dennison, although it's definitely not 100%. We have obviously got a lot of the under-21 lads, the academy lads on the bench for Trinity again this evening, obviously short on numbers. I wasn't at the game on Saturday, but from what I've heard, they've, they, they've, they had impressed in that one. So, so it's a tough battle against South Shields. You're probably going to need fresh legs, so a number of them will likely be introduced later on. But for now, Dennison's carrying on. So we're about 25 or 20 to 25 minutes into the second half. And uh, the free kick from uh, Trinity has ended up at the right back position for South Shields. Sterry plays it to Hunter into Term, uh, Ross and now Osai. Dennison's in strongly, met by a round of applause from the Trinity faithful. Dennison now looking to apply the press over to Turnbull, but plays into feet to McCamley. He's met by Kamal Graham and he's, uh, he's won a. He's won a throw in. Which uh, Trinity will take. Right, Dixon will take, to be more specific, on halfway here. Looks to the options ahead of him. Wiles wanted it short. He's probably going to aim for Ainge. Does so. Battles with uh, Kempster. Bacon looks to charge down the clearance, but it's charged down by Ross on his own. The number six for South Shields. Declan Bacon looks slight to Greaves, but it's thumped to clear. Kamal Grant has a battle with McCamley, and Williamson can step in. Plays it to Dixon. Dinks up the line to Alex Wiles, who can't get there ahead of John Shaw. And uh, Turnbull, centre mid, can look, look up the line. Brings it inside, however, and switches it over towards Sterry at right back. It's brought down well by him. And he plays it over halfway into Darius Osai. And then up to Hunter. He comes inside with Campbell Brown, Gordon, keeps driving. Campbell Gordon does well to get back, but Osai can set it for Sterry. He can fizz it in. It's, it's all over the area. Hunter takes a shot, and it's another big save from Jackson, and a follow up save. And then blocked by Kamal Grant, and Trinity on the edge here. South Shields have it edge of the area. I'll come back to the, the melee in the box that just occurred as Kempster whips it in. It's not a great ball, it's long, it's all the way through towards Campbell Gordon, and he thumps it clear. I try and recap what happened there. Uh, I forgot already. It was that much of a minute. I can tell you that there was a shot and it was blocked by Kamal Grant, pretty much on the penalty spot. And there's calls, big calls for handball. Potentially did hit his hands, but based on the speed and the distance that he would have travelled, there's, there's no way it could be given deliberately. Um, so Trinity survived as it's played out towards um, 16 for South Shields. It's, uh, it's now Turnbull and the Trinity faithful burst out into chorus. It's clipped in by McCamley towards the back post. Hunter gets in ahead of Campbell Gordon and his judge should have taken out the chorus. It's clipped in by McCamley towards the back post. Hunter gets in ahead of Campbell Gordon and his judge should have taken out Hunter and it is a penalty for South Shields. Campbell Gordon just caught on his heels. Hunter nipped in ahead of him as uh, Campbell Gordon looked to clear the ball, clipped Hunter, 
and South Shields have a penalty. And that's the most frustrating way for uh, Trinity to allow South Shields to make them here. I don't know if the ref reversed his decision. He's talking to his linesman. It's definitely, it's not, he is pointing to the spot, I guess it's confirmed. Rob, if you're listening, I know you want to write a match report. Rob, if you're listening, I know you want to write a match report. Someone's gone down here in the box. Someone stood on someone. It's all kicking off. Oh, size come over, and it's, it's kicking off in the area now. Trinity saying it's not a penalty. South Shield's saying it is. Tempest flare, and someone's gone down. Nothing too serious. Um, the opportunity that happened earlier was um, Jordan Hunter cut inside, took a shot down low to the, uh, the left of Tom Jackson. He, he dived, dived low, did well, got a hand to it. Parried it into the feet of an on Russian South Shields player. He was able to get up and block that quick enough. And then it fell to that shot, which Kamal Grant blocked. Play carried on, ended up deep cross. Thought it was going all the way through, no danger. But uh, Campbell Gordon was caught on his heels. And uh, Hunter could nip in, get his touch in, take the contact, go down. And it was a penalty for South Shields. Be a bit of time added on for this one, because... Uh, I think that's Lewis Dennison. It's these Lewis Dennison that went down. I, I didn't see what happened. Um, there was a bit of handbags going on, nothing too serious. Quickly sorted out, but uh, it will be a penalty for South Shields. It is Briggs with the ball in his hand. It's Tom Jackson who'll be looking to deny him the opportunity. We are 25 minutes into the second half. And uh, for all Trinity's efforts, it could be a, a cheap penalty that costs them at the moment. As Briggs puts the ball down on the spot, it'd be right footed that he takes this one. Number 10 for South Shields up against number one for the Holy Blues. Jackson bounces around on his line, ref blows his whistle, Briggs steps up, slots into the bottom right hand corner. Ref blows his whistle, Briggs steps up, slots into the bottom right hand corner. Jackson dives the wrong way and South Shields, South Shields lead 1-0 on the uh, 70th minute. 20 minutes left for Trinity to turn this one around. They're still appealing. It's not going to do any difference now. And South Shields celebrate that penalty. South Shields 1, Trinity 0. Robert Briggs, the goal scorer from the penalty spot. So, this job went hard enough for Trinity already, battling away at 0-0. They've now got to battle a little harder, because they've got to overcome that one goal deficit following the Robert Briggs penalty. Highlights will show whether it was a penalty or not, they're very hotly contested. Um, it's one of those though where you're just too slow to react, you give the referee a decision to make and shouldn't be caught in that situation anyway but Trinity do trail by one goal to nil 20 minutes to turn this around for the Holy Blues as Ainge flicks it on Bacon looks to get on the end of it hooked clear by John Shaw Campbell Gordon who gave away the penalty can head it back up but it's cleared over to McCallum Kamal Grant uses his pace Jackson comes out and he can play it out of play for throwing for a South Shields level the technical area for them the at left wing back with the ball in his hands that will take this throw Throw into the centre to McCallum. It's McCamley, sorry. It's rebounded around. It'll be another thrown for South Shields, which Kemps will take once more. Thrown up the line this time towards McCamley. He turns away from Dixon, chops it on the byline to go back to Kempster. Stood up by Wiles, inside to Briggs. It's a clever idea, but it's intercepted by Greaves. He tries to break away from his man, rest says no foul, maybe a throw in for it's a throw in for South Shields. Turnbull was gonna take it, he's left it instead to Kempster. He takes it into midfield to McCallum. 
Guaz breaks away, but he's tackled by Ross, who looks to drive it forward into the feet of Isai, intercepted well by James Williamson, and he breaks forward now. Looks for his options ahead of him. He's over halfway, gives it to Greaves. He's got Dixon on the outside of him, and he uses him. The right side in front of Curtis Woodhouse here on the right side, back into the feet of AJ Greaves. Curled forward towards Simon Ainge, who's offside. And Eisman has his flag up. As uh, Curtis Woodhouse calls Scott Hutchinson back. Might well be the first change for Trinity this afternoon. Scott Hutchinson, the under 21 striker. It's played forward over the top to McCamley, who is offside. Ironic jeers from Trinity this time. Confirmation of the substitute, which is imminent. It's going to be first sub for Trinity. It's number 14, Zach Walker. And he will be coming on for number four, Kamal Grant. So Zach Walker for Kamal Grant. which could prompt change in formation. And then the second substitute, Scott Hutchinson, number 17. He's coming on for number eight, Alex Wise. Neither Grant nor Wise are too happy to be coming off the pitch here. Grant, of course, from the Trinity Faithful. So just confirmation there. Keaton, uh, Zach Walker for Kamal Grant and Scott Hutchinson for Alex Wiles. And a change for games for Trinity, uh, South Shields. Darius Osai makes way. Number nine, Darius Osai, is replaced by number 17, Jack Hindle. So three substitutions there. Zach Walker and Scott Hutchinson for Trinity, who've come on for Alex Wiles and Kamal Grant. And then Darius Osai has come off for Jack Hindle for South Shields. Perhaps one eye on that FA Cup match first round against... Uh, Cheltenham Town on Saturday, Neston, Darius Osai. Scott Hutchinson's busy and he can take it away from uh, Ross. And then Ames goes down, massive calls for a penalty, referee says no, he's not interested. You can probably tell from the crowd noise how uh, everybody around the North End feels about that one. Ainge bundled into from behind, Woodhouse in the ear of the linesman, so is Declan Bacon, but the referee waved that one away. I'll have to look at that one back, but that did seem like a very, very strong penalty shout for uh, games for Trinity. Then. So throw it, or oh, Matt Baker heads it clear for Trinity. And it's uh, loose in the midfield, but AJ Bruce can collect it. His touch is fairly loose and it's straight out of play, midway inside the South Shields half for South Shields throwing taken by the right back Jamie Sterling. The uh, confirmation of the attendance there is 557, 557. It's a decent turnout to the Holy Blues on a Tuesday night considering there might not be an action until well at least the 2nd of December who knows if that's longer the so ball is in midfield here as Hunter turns away and it's getting feisty out there there's, there's tackles flying everywhere and AJ Greaves has come away with the ball it's into Dennis in midfield back to Greaves out towards uh, I believe that's number 14 Zach Walker he plays it back to Campbell Gordon fizzed into Ainge who just sort of flicks it on keeper comes out for uh, South Shields and Arsbo and he collects the ball and falls on it score remains South Shields 1 Trinity 0 there's about 10 minutes left in this one for the Holy Blues to find that equaliser as the ball is with uh, Turnbull in midfield he turns out and finds Dylan Morse and it's now with Hunter he brings it over halfway and he can find the feet of McCamley he's been challenged by uh, Matt Dixon but it's found with Briggs and he sprays it out towards Kempster, left wing back. He brings it inside of Jack Bacon. And then it's played back to Ross, who's played a one two of Turnbull. He played it out to Kempster. And then Ross. And it's South Shields happy to keep the ball here with uh, the scoreline as it is, with 10 minutes left to play. Trinity chasing. John Shaw brings it up the left into the feet of Briggs. 
looking for a substitute for Cameron and finds him. He's one on one with Dixon. He has to take it down the left of him and get towards the byline. Dixon's held him up very well and wins the ball. Great defense from Dixon. He should have potentially cleared it earlier though as it's charged down by Cam like Campbell and it will be a goal kick for Tom Jackson to play. Trinity with about 10 minutes to save themselves in this one. They do trail by one goal to now against South Shields. They have had their chances and a strong penalty shout. It's long. Ainge will be looking to flick that on. Loses out to Ross, however, and Dennison wins it in the midfield. He looks to bring it past uh, Briggs, and it's played up the line towards Declan Bacon. He fizzes it in towards the back post. It's over there. Over everybody, though. Scott Hutchinson was the nearest man to it, and no, he was never getting on the end of that. It's gone all out for a goal kick. The South Shields will no doubt take their time to uh, organise this one and clear the ball. Simon Ainge having a chat with the ref. No doubt still about that penalty decision. As Miles Bowen looks to set himself there. South Shields still looking happy to play out from the back. He waves them forward. And he'll be sending this one long. Getting as many yards as he can for South Shields side. Calls the time waster and refs telling him to hang on. Take it, they have taken their time with this goal kick to be fair. And it's long, very long, well over halfway. Williamson tussles well with McCamley, wins it, but it's headed back by John Shaw, all the way over, flicked on by Briggs, and it's a substitute, uh, Jack Hindle, one on one with Baker, comes inside of him, looks to play it into Briggs. AJ Groves is there to intercept, and he can look to bring it forward. He's pulled back by. Hindle and he wins a free kick which Tom Jackson will take right on the edge of the Trinity area look to get this as long as possible look to turn the backs of that South Shields defence and put some pressure on them Tom Jackson long and high looking for the head of Simon Ames who will be up there with Kempster neither win it Kempster says Kempster's been climbing on Ames there so uh, Ames just won a free kick which uh, Dixon will take. Greaves and Dennison back to Trinity. Ainge in there, Williamson in there, Baker in there for Trinity. It's right inside, just to, in front of Curtis Woodhouse's technical area. It's free kick. Dixon to take it. It's a flat one. Ainge jumps high, flicks it on. No one there to win it, however, and Bacon came closest, but Miles Bowen was able to fall on that. As he looked to bowl it out towards uh, Turnbull at left back. Ignores that and plays it out to Hunter Rosselli, then clips it over the top, looking for Hindle on the break. It's gone all the way through to Jackson, and he can throw it out instead to Matt Dixon at right back. He looks to gain some yards. He has been pressed by Hindle. And it's a high one, dinked up towards the like of Simon Ainge. Good tussle all the way through. Scott Hutchinson there, muddled up with uh, Zach Walker, but it's fallen to. Campbell Gordon at left back and he brings it up towards Zach Walker takes a touch opens his body whips it in headed clear by John Shaw free header in there South Shields penalty and Williamson just shoves McCampbell uh, off the ball and then receives it in the midfield for AJ Greaves who takes it past his man is clipped and will have a free kick here Briggs just clipped him Seven minutes of this one till added time. South Shields preparing another substitute. It'll be number 12 that's coming on. It will be Craig Baxter, for who we don't know yet. Trinity will have enough time to take its free kick first. Dixon towards the back post. Floater, Ainge challenges, flicks it on. Cleared by South Shields. Dixon can get back there, hits it. First time, fizz through a gap, all the way out for a goal kick. But it was well, 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 well. It's close to the corner flag. That one, not his finest strike. I remember a couple of weeks back. He, he had a thunderous effort, cannoned off the crossbar as it fell, fell out to him. This one, not on the same level. And uh, it'll be a South Shields goal kick. South Shields will have time to make the change. It will be number 12, Craig Baxter, coming on. And he will be replacing number three. The three's already off, so it can't be number three. Number seven. He's replacing number seven. So that is Craig Baxter coming on the pitch for Jordan Hunter. 
they're actually the nearest place, which is in front of the Trinity fans over in the opposite, opposite the ping stand. Change of shape again, well not shape, but personnel as uh, Jamie Sterry has been pushed on from right back to right mid and Craig Baxter seems to be slotting in at right back instead. Miles Boney will get us back underway with a skull kick. South Shields still lead Trinity, one goal to nil. Up over halfway, flicked on by Briggs. But Dennison can try in the midfield, he hooks it towards Declan Bacon. John Shaw's head is not a great one, it falls to Ainge. Again, looks to flick it into the path of Bacon, but that's too long. It'll be a free uh, a throw in for South Shields, which Kemps is in no rush to take as he strolls over towards the linesman who has the ball. Ref's off having a word with his linesman. Don't know what he said. So throws long by Kempster, flicked on by Briggs. Baker gets in well to head it. It's headed clear. Bit of aerial ping pong here. And settles with Greaves in midfield. He looks to steer it out towards Bacon. Up and away by Kempster. And then helped on further by Turnbull. Matt Baker sends it high this time. It's Bacon that's under a challenge of a Kempster. His touch is loose. And the clearance from South Shields finds Campbell Gordon at left back. He sends up towards Scott Hutchinson who's moved out to the left hand side. He's been marshalled well by uh, Craig Baxter who's just come on. But he can bring it inside to AJ Greaves. He looks to turn in the midfield and plays it back out to the left where Campbell Gordon's moved forwards. Flicks around the corner into the feet into Deck Bacon. He looks to stand it out towards. Matt Dixon has got a bit of time here to measure up across towards the back post. Simon Ainge jumps high, big header off the bar. S looked like it potentially crossed the line, it hadn't, it bounced back out. Closest Trinity have come, it's a fantastic move from Gainsborough. Woodhouse has his head in his hands, he can't believe that's not gone in. And uh, with uh, about five minutes left to go, three minutes to go, Trinity hit the crossbar. Nice passing move, sprayed from left out to right, Dixon has it and he dinked it towards the back post, it's a flat ball like we've seen. Ainge asked to generate all the power, he did that off the bar and then wrong side of the line for Trinity and they were denied centimetres and equaliser here. The North Home still remains 1-0 to South Shields, we now have it with James Sterry, the right back, deep cross towards the back post. Jack Hindle looks to win that. Lions for Scissors have kept it in and so it'll be a goal kick for Gaines for Trinity. Games will all make their final sub again. I have to say, the likes of Hutchinson and uh, Zach Walker have come on earlier. Very lively. Changed the game, really. Well, not changed the game, but given Trinity more impetus going forward, no doubt helped somewhat by the fact that South Shields are happy to sit back and you know, protect the lead. But Trinity have been, Trinity have been really in this. And if they were to find an equaliser, I don't think it would be unjust. I think they'd potentially deserve an equaliser. We're about to find out who the final substitution is. It's number 16, Bradley Rodgers. And he will be coming on for number 11, Lewis Dennison, as Tom Jackson is announced as man of the match. The substitution for Trinity is Lewis Dennison off, Bradley Rodgers on. Pre-match, Curtis would have said that Dennison had passed a light fitness test. Well, he's managed the best part of 90 minutes here. And so he's been putting a lot of yards. And he's now obviously got at least five weeks to recover from that. As AJ Drews presses in the midfield, wins it well off of Ross. Ref says he's fouled him, looked like he'd won the ball. And he's booked AJ Greaves. AJ Greaves goes into the book, receives a yellow card for tackle on Ross. I think that's a little harsh. Maybe a bit over eager to jump in and win that, but it looked like he'd won it. And now Ross is happy to lay on the North Home turf and just you know, waste some more time. Matt, Ball, Matt Bowles carry a plate of chips, I'm really jealous because I am freezing. It's gone all the way through to Tom Jackson in the Trinity net. He sends it long. Not much time left in this one for games. Headed by uh, goal scorer Robert Briggs away. 
and that's in their third of Tandon. And now Dylan Moss. And it looks like South Shields are on their way to a fourth consecutive 1-0 win. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Potentially third. Either way, Trinity have had their chances in this one. It's out for a throw on halfway, and it'll be South Shields that take this. Curtis Woodhouse just checking how long's left in this one. Is it spin the midfield with Ross? Walker looks to press him back, does so well. You know, it's sent forward by uh, Dylan Morse in centre half. Trent sends it back long again, no one remember that. And uh, Miles Boney will fall on that one. He's telling Kempsey to get forward. He's going to take as much time as he can to send this as long as he can. It's high, it's long. It's Williamson that wins the header. However, it will be a throw for Southfield here. Still yet to find out the extent of added time. Probably in it now. We didn't find out how long it's added in the first half, if any. Bouncing around in the midfield. Curse Woodhouse scores for tempo in there. This Trinity side have worked extremely hard this afternoon. He's given their all. It's a throw in on halfway as long by Campbell Gordon, as we've seen all night. AJ Greaves heads it back forward in the midfield. Ains Challenge just flicks it on. No one there. Thumped clear by their number 10, Robert Briggs, who has been playing just behind the strike all game and has now dropped into centre half. Played long, Ainge looks to flick it on, does so well. Declan Bacon's there, takes a touch inside, goes down, referee's toes him to get up. Another strong shout for a penalty there for Trinity. Five minutes added on for games, but there's still enough time in this yet. Curtis Woodhouse strokes and said add on seven. Five's not far off. Trinity really putting South Shields under pressure here. This is played out towards Dixon, midway inside the half. Stands it up towards Simon Ainge in the box. He flicks it on, no one there. And I've seen all evening, Ainge has won the headers, but there's been no one in and around him just to stab them home from close range, and Boney falls on that. And for Trinity, I have about four more minutes of this one. Although a South Shields player has gone down. It's a very tactical move, that. Ref just said play on. Miles Boney sent it out of play. Ref pauses. It's, uh, I think it's John Shaw, the captain, that's gone down. It's clever from him if he has. Referee will no doubt have to stop the clock on this. So Brad Wallace takes some instructions from Curtis Woodhouse sir. The, uh, the under-21 lads, if, you, you wouldn't be able to tell, they've slotted in brilliantly. Okay? John Shaw's been told he has to leave the pitch because he's taken some treatment. I think it's John Shaw, I might, I might well be one, who knows? I was right, it is John Shaw. The captain, South Shields. Referee gets back in the way, it's a throw in for Trinity, deep inside their own half. Dixon sends it up long, met by the hill of Turnbull. Matt Baker challenges with Sterry and wins it. It's sent back by Ross and then back in the opposite direction by Williamson before Ross can bring it down for Turnbull. Sent up the line to Sterry. He's under a lot of pressure there from Trinity now. And uh, Trinity get it off him eventually. It's played back by Zach Walker to uh, Tom Jackson who can play it out towards Campbell Gordon. He takes a touch, looks to bring it up the line, instead puts it inside and gives it to Williamson. Williamson, diagonally long, looking for Declan Bacon. Has a good tussle with Kemp, so ref says both play on and Trinity can pick up the pieces. It's Brad Rice in the midfield. Out to Zach Walker and he can fizz it into the feet of Bacon. Dixon with the cross, flat one, over the head of everybody. Before all the way through to Campbell Gordon. He's won a free kick here for Trinity in extremely dangerous territory. I don't think it's quite in shooting range, but it's in brilliant crossing range. And Tom Jackson's come up here from goal, he's come up, and if he can get on the end of this, that'd be quite some story. Go, 
place on the added time. This could just be about it after this. Can't quite see who's standing over that for Trinity. Matt Dixon, sorry. Scott Hutchinson's all well on his own, right? Right at the back post. With some store if he could stick one in as well. This could well be the last chance for Trinity. Matt Dixon with a free kick, crossing territory. It's into the penalty spot, it's not a great ball. It's headed to clear. And it's AJ Greaves who's left to send it back into the box. No one from Trinity challenging. Briggs can head it clear. Dixon's in there with Sterry. He wins it back and he takes it out towards the left. He's going to look to get down that line. Does so well, past his man, into the box. Headed clear by uh, South Shields as number 12. And that's back with Greaves. He's going to look to send it in again on the half volley towards the back post. Headed clear again by Ross this time. AJ Greaves does well, just about to stop the break. And he's got a challenge. Work hard there to get ahead of Sterry. Does so well and he's going to look to bring it back up the line. Zach Walker wins it again for Trinity before Campbell Gordon sprays it out to Scott Hutchinson. He gets his touch in. He's been met by Kempster. He looks at his options, flips it left footed in towards Williamson, flicked on. Nobody there. And South Shields can bring it back out. Brad Ronis has got a challenge here with Kempster. And Kempster takes it up the left. Brad Ronis dives in, makes no contact with the man, is wiped out Kempster instead. Takes a yellow for his efforts. Nothing malicious in that from the young lad. He's gone to match Kempster, stride for stride, just been outplaced as he slid in. Took out Kempster. But that will wind down valuable seconds to South Shield to And that might be all she wrote for Trinity this evening. South Shields will be happy, probably just keep this in the corner. I think added time's just about up anyway. South Shields are well on their way for another uh, another consecutive 1-0 victory. They've been grinding them out recently. And Trinity have been superb this afternoon, this evening, sorry. They might not have got that goal. Conceded a sloppy penalty, it's their only downfall all evening. It's in the corner. It's going to be a Trinity ball, I think, or South Shields ball. I can't quite work out. The ref just sort of pointed up rather than a direction. I think it's a corner for South Shields. Either way, they're winding down valuable seconds. Here's a corner. It's taken short, held in the corner. Kemp's is holding it up. And that is full time. Referee blows his whistle and Trinity have slumped to a 1 0 loss here at the Northland. They weren't, wasn't for trying, it's been a fantastic effort from Gainsborough. Obviously, a number of key figures missing. Um, that might be it until we don't know when you'll next, you'll, you'll next hear from us from Trinity Radio. We hope 2nd of December is, you know, it's not extended beyond then. Um, we hope everybody stays safe during this next lockdown and we hope to see you all back at the Northland very soon. Games with Trinity, nil, South Shields, one.